education and services. This is because um, many of our LGUs do not see this as a priority. Thus, they gave a low investment on health human resource. And at the moment, we know this uh, low investment in capacity building and human resource is aggravated because of the focus uh, and they are financially strapped due to COVID. And moreover, those health service providers that were left uh, in their stations and have been trained also were unable to practice their training due to poor training selections. <laughs> selection meaning that they may not be the appropriate person for the said training. And um, there's lack of confidence also due to lack of opportunities to practice. The reasons behind this uh, include uh, limited supportive supervision or limited post-training evaluation, maybe because the trainers are also overwhelmed themselves and pulled in many directions. And the health service providers also have their innate biases or this uh, lens, lack of human rights-based approach lens, or we can say that it's the heart behind the hands. So... Next slide, sir. We have also identified um, clients' poor health-seeking behavior. So we started with this um, problem to, to really discuss the root cause analysis. Um, sadly, we are still faced with this challenge of clients' poor health-seeking behavior because many of our clients um, still nurture many myths and misconceptions about family planning. And uh, many women, men, and AY lack or have low levels of awareness about FP methods since they also have low access to quality information. It's also because um, they have limited approaches or the, the medium to capture different audiences and the mismatch medium to target uh, different audiences. So in short, uh, demand generation side. Um, this is because um, there were less options available on demand gen at the time of the period, such as uh, they were not able to maximize the use of digital platforms. Like, yes, we have provided uh, digital platforms as a strategy or intervention or they are still doing the same old low impact demand generation strategies, but of course they were unable to implement this due to the COVID-19 uh, restrictions, also less face-to-face -face and interpersonal um, approaches. Also contributing to the client's poor health seeking behavior is um, uh, the client's own preference to use unreliable FP methods or practices such as um, and not also going to health facilities to seek proper care. So do note that um, client's preference is a function of access, time, and cost. So this is still attributed to the lack or low level of awareness of the benefits of modern FP methods or they still hang on to their old belief systems such as um, the use of traditional practices or uh, use of herbal options or even their own religious beliefs if they are uh, members also of you know, indigenous groups so they have those uh, uh, kinds of belief systems. So contributory to this also is that clients still have low access to quality services how much more in conflict-affected areas and geographically isolated and disadvantaged areas? So the movement of our clients have been limited due to, again, to the quarantine restrictions, thus they couldn't go to health facilities. While there are those who chose not to go to health facilities because um, they are afraid of being exposed to the virus and aside from their innate fears of just going to a health facility, um, maybe um, they still have th those beliefs that only sick people go to a hospital. Um, next slide. And we also identified that uh, contributory to the decrease in our FPC and NA is because of poor data quality. When we say poor data quality, it means um, incomplete, inaccurate, 
not validated, and submission is not timely or, or delayed. So this is also attributed to a weak health information system of the LGU, which, which is due to the lack of LGU policy and investment also in this uh, health information system. Or they haven't provided adequate training to the human resource to be able to have a functional uh, health information system. Or uh, again, the lack of training, the lack of capacity building support. So a weak health information system, it means um, they have poor recording and reporting, poor data quality check, poor monitoring, and then poor tracking. So it's also very important uh, to integrate in our uh, data collection uh, this gender-sensitive reporting of our data. And these factors are just some effects because of the lack of advocacy of the local chief executives or the chief of hospitals and also the private sector for supportive policies and funding. Among other things, to be able to create an in, uh, enabling environment so we could be able to uh, increase our CU and MA for family planning in our project sites. Thank you.